Hi, I'm Frank, and I tell silly people like this where to go. Enjoy. Russia's, like, heritage is, like, circle jerking themselves over World War II, where they were the defenders against Nazism. So they weren't even aggressors against it, right? America is the country that ended, and the West is largely who won against World War II against Hitler. The only reason the Soviets killed so many people is because the Nazis tried to invade their homeland. Here, Destiny once again talks nonsense. Here, he's saying that it wasn't the Russians that defeated the Nazis. When, in fact, if it wasn't for Russia and the Battle of Stalingrad and Kirks, one of the largest tank battles in the history of the world, then the Nazi army would have been strong enough to fend off the Allies at the Normandy beach landings. Stalingrad broke the back of the Nazis' army. Stalingrad made the German army, the Wehrmacht, a non-fighting force. It depleted their manpower, their source of fuel, and their morale. So once again, destiny is talking nonsense. That's an example. That's a really big accountability factor that has a lot of influence over your life. And that's something where women are held ultimately. An example of like, if a mistake is made with a child, more often than not, the woman is going to be held ultimately accountable for it. So once again, destiny is talking nonsense. Here he says that if a woman has a child with a man, then the man is as responsible as the woman for that child. No, no, the woman is responsible. The woman needs to keep her legs closed. It is up to the woman who she has sex with. She's not being forced into having sex with someone she doesn't want to have sex with. Women are 100 responsible who they have sex with. If she gets pregnant by a man who happens to be a terrible man, or who happens to be a terrible father, it's her responsibility, because she chose him. Women turned down men on a regular basis. Women turned down men so many times in a single day. And yet she chooses the worst of the worst to have children with. She needs to take complete responsibility. If I went to a shop and I bought a very bad car, when I had the options of buying a good car, I would be responsible for buying a bad car because I picked that car because I chose the car. I had the option of selecting a good car, I had the chance of doing my research, but I didn't. Instead, I chose a car that made me excited, not a car that was good for traveling, or that it was reliable. A lot of women don't take accountability, a lot of women don't want to be accountable. And because they're attractive or young, they seem to confuse that with the concept that they're right or valid. Well, to get out of pregnancies with abortion? Like being able, like being forced to care for a kid for 18 years after you've had the child on the deck and just leave. Feminism allows women to do what they want without any accountability. This includes women working white-collar jobs and then leaving these jobs in their mid to late 30s to have children. And then not going back or going back only part-time. This can cause untold damage in the workplace, as women not going back will leave a gap in the workplace and will subsequently affect work output, which will affect productivity and will lead to stakeholder disruption. With AI advancing extremely fast, we have no idea what this could lead to. Due to the entitlement and the arrogance of modern-day women thinking that they can have it all, corporations will likely replace women with artificial intelligence once they realize how useful AI can be. This could lead to mass unemployment. Mass unemployment will lead to many things, including possible destabilization of society. And we don't know where that might lead to. So he just needs to understand how dangerous modern feminism is. Observed that at every stage of a sexual transaction, as long as the man is in control of it, nobody gives a fuck. But as soon as the woman is in control of it, people start to have really huge problems with it. We got great examples of this, right? We can watch pornographic movies. I know on Twitch Video there games. are games that have like porn scenes in them. But if a woman goes on Twitch and cosplays as one of those, like fuck this booby girl, it seems to be that there's a, a huge case that when women are in charge of the paychecks, we start to have a really big problem. Ah, shush, you silly blue hair lily boy. What Destiny fails to mention here is that men created modern-day society. It was men who gave their life to create our modern society. If it wasn't for men sacrificing their lives during the Second World War, we would all be speaking German. And we wouldn't have this free society where modern-day women can complain time after time without actually having to do anything and without having actually be responsible for their actions. Destiny is nothing but a male feminist shill. She was structured right now for you to decide becoming that you want to be a full time stay at home mom, wife, parent at 18 or 19 is a more radical decision than trying it only. This guy, Destiny, is so out of touch with reality that he compares somebody getting married early with someone doing only fans. Someone doing only fans will leave themselves with so many problems further down in their life, whereas somebody who gets married early has far more chance of a success of keeping the marriage going. Even if they don't get married, they could be engaged. They don't necessarily have to get married.
But this guy equates early marriage with women doing only fans, and he says women doing only fans is preferable at an early age than women getting married. This is how much of a shill this guy really is. Like, the, the, the delay of maturation, though, is because we necessarily exist in a more complex world, right? Like, navigating the world 500 to 1,000 years ago was a lot simpler, right? Here, what Destiny says once again is nonsense. He's saying that people in the past were more mature because life was more simple. That could not be further from the truth. Life in the past was a lot more complicated than it is today. In the past, going to get food could mean a literal life or death choice, because going out to get food in the past, you could put yourself in danger of becoming prey to other predators, such as wolves, bears, tigers, and lions. He doesn't seem to understand that until 300 years ago they were Asiatic lions, as far north as Greece. He doesn't seem to understand that in the past there was no refrigeration, that if your food had gone off and you accidentally were to eat it, and you got food poisoning. There was a very high likely possibility that you could die because there was no hospitals or penicillin or medicine. He doesn't seem to understand. The reason that women married so young in the past was so that they could have as many children as possible, because the infant mortality before the age of three was 50%. That's one in two. He doesn't seem to understand that lack of an abundance of food in the past was common, and that the Salem witch trial was caused by ergot growing on wheat. When people were starved or when people were faced with starvation, they would have to eat what was in front of them, even though fungus had grown on their food. The Salem witch trials were caused by ergots growing on wheat, which is a form of fungi which causes hallucination because of the DMT in the ergot. He doesn't understand that going from one place to another in the past had so many dangers associated with it. The story of Red Riding Hood is about kidnap, physical assault, and predation. This predation was done by men on women. The forests were extremely dangerous, so people had to mature a lot faster. Today, they can take Uber or have food delivered. Hence, they are more immature. We specialize, right? Like, the men that run our farms today might not be able to go out with an actual pitchfork and do that because they're using incredibly sophisticated technology, and there's these, like, electronic, like, John Deere tractors that are sure. running their entire farm. So, I mean, like... Once again, here, destiny is speaking nonsense. Technology has made life simpler, not more complex. It has created an environment where further education and tertiary education has become necessary, as technology requires further knowledge acquirement in order to fulfill its potential. In other words, to better utilize technology, people have to stay in education for longer in order to be able to get the most out of technological advancement in today's society and the tech sector. And due to tertiary and further education required by the workforce, Children are staying in adolescence form for longer, as they are students for longer. And a lot of women are staying in further education and tertiary education, and that's one of the reasons that further education has been hijacked and overtaken by modern feminism. Because tertiary education and further studying is a lot easier than real-world jobs than starting businesses. As businesses come with risks, whereas with further education, a person can comply and is rewarded, and this is something where the agreeable nature of women is suited to. But risk-taking is needed for society to advance, not compliance, as compliance is a stage of bureaucracy.